Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Polystex Twitch. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on mic by Tyler. Hello. And we've also got special guest co-host, Brownmeister. Good morning, everyone. And also, off to the side is Brandy Cats. Hello. And I'm pleased to be streaming Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which just came out on the Nintendo Switch, and I pre-ordered it, as did Brownmeister. Mm-hmm. I got my copy a day early, so yeah, I played it like the night before. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is morning for Australians and icky, but evening for United States. So, yes, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, you do have access to the soundtracks for each game. It's too bad you don't get MP3 copies of them as well, because that would be a really good value. I did okay. notice that, but I haven't checked it out yet. Okay, let's just hop into one, which... Super Mario 2007. Super Mario Galaxy 81 tracks two hours running time there. Yeah, that's a lot of music. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So... This collection, oh, is that actually the music to the main menu as well? I think it is. They uh, it do... should have, like, all the in-game music, I believe. How about Sad Girl? What's that sound like? Is this going to get us flagged and muted on YouTube? No. Oh, nice. You can even put it in music player mode and listen to it with the screen turned off. So if you like the music, at least you can get some extra value out of it. That's cool. Well, tonight... As you can see, this collection has three classic 3D Mario games on it. The Nintendo 64, Super Mario 64, GameCube, Super Mario Sunshine, which I played a teeny tiny little bit and didn't like that much back in the day, and Super Mario Galaxy, which I also played a teeny tiny little bit and liked okay except for the controls. I recommend giving Sunshine another chance when you can. I finished that one a while back. It gets tough, but it's actually a lot of fun. Well, that's cool. Which one is it that has the annoying motion control mini games? I think it's the Galaxy. That would be one of the Wii or Wii U ones. That would be at least Galaxy, because okay. Sunshine was on the GameCube. So, that explains it. So, yeah, I was reading the Kotaku review, and they complained that they kept the motion controls for the mini games, and I can see why you. Would... I heard there's some kind of little trick you can do here. Ah, is that the trick? Yeah, you can Always play around with Mario. Stuff. Wow. <laughs> But look at the weird view. Ah. So this is not the improved DS version of Mario 64, which is probably overall the best home version because it has more content. But it is the Japanese re-release of Mario 64 on N64 because there was a slightly improved Japanese re-release that we didn't get. And that's what they used for this, is what I read. I like the music there. Alright, you can pick... Save file? It says score. Is there actually a scoring system? Maybe. I, can't, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's always just plugged in. and I never remove it or anything. Yay! So after some technical difficulties, we are back with Super Mario 64 finally running properly on the Switch. Well, we're using a different dock now, but... Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm back. Hey, Tyler. So, Super Mario 64 runs at 30 frames per second at 720p on the Switch. Neither of those things is really acceptable, but especially the frame rate, leaving it at 30 instead of kicking it up to 60, that was very cheap on the developer's part. I am in agreement on that. Like, when there's all these fan hacks that improve Mario 64 significantly, to do the very most bare minimum of improvements is shabby. But thankfully, Mario 64 is a cool game, isn't it, Tyler? Cool. The coolest. So, the camera controls are not super good. Like, it's emulating how they worked on the original. Right, that's what I've heard, too. Yeah, I wish I'd have free cammed it, if I'm honest. Yeah, like, why not? What would that hurt? Giving probably have to camera control. get in there and rebuild it though i guess so well i've read that it's a combination of emulation with some little improvements on top of the emulation like the the ui stuff like the star up at the top that's not upscaling it's 
redrawn, but the actual games tend to be just running in emulated form. Something like that. There's a whole big article on Eurogamer if anybody's interested. The movement is weird, it takes a little getting used to. It's no Spelunky too. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Yeah, Dark, yeah Darker Player like says a remake that added extra cut content would be nice. I can't disagree. Bob Jones. Well, they added 30 stars to the DS version of the game. We know that much. Yeah, and extra characters you can play as and stuff. And those enhancements are not in this, which I also find somewhat inexcusable. A lot of people hate the DS version, though. I don't I know why they would. It. it was great. I loved it. Like, the only thing the DS version had going against it is the regular DS did not have analog, an analog stick. And yeah, that makes some things less fancy, but it was still a really fun game. Cool, Jono agrees. Thank you, Jono. Going out to visit the ghosts? Is this the way you're supposed to go? Uh, no, the first place you're meant to go from when you walk into the castle is to the left. There's a door with no star on it. That's to the first level. I see. Hey, Link. Glad to see you. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We're, be we're glad you're back, Brian. Okay, so go out of this room that I'm in right now, this hall. Yep. If you go out the right side, it actually puts you towards the correct door to go to the first level. A door so that, that door right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, Bob Jones. Anybody who complains about added stuff is silly. So I don't. I think it's more like a cheapness or short-sightedness <laughs> issue, and not that they were thought it would please the most fans not to be able to play as Yoshi and stuff. Yeah, who ordered a PlayStation 5? Who pre-ordered one? Tyler, are you bothering with it at this launch point? I pre-ordered one at Target just in case I want one. It's better to have one ordered and not want it than want one and not have it. That's true, and you could even flip it if you decide you didn't want it. But... I can do that, yes. <laughs> Is that already what you were thinking? I don't know, we'll see. I would say it's likely that I don't keep it for my own personal whatever, because... I have like 100 million games to play on PlayStation 4, and I'm not always a big fan of launch consoles. I think like the second round of them iron out a lot of little bugs um, that the first round don't have or do have. Um, and so I'm not a big launch guy anyway. Huh. Interesting. I thought it said press A to talk to him, but it was definitely the X button I had to press to talk to him. It's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Ooh, Thyrenia is saving up for the wedding. Have you got a date picked out yet, Thyrenia? I hope you'll invite us. You know, we might actually be able to fly if we were invited. Big wow bomb at the top of the mountain. It's very powerful. That's if we were given enough notice and all that, of course. And I, I know Tyler really wants to be there, too. Damn straight. <laughs> but, yeah, the other thing is if there's a good trade-in back in the PS4 Pro, I may keep it, since it sounds like most games are going to be backwards compatible from PS4 generation. Yeah, it sounds like it. They, I mean, they're still not being very specific, but they said it again that, mo like, 99%. Didn't they say, like, 99% or something? Yeah. Hey, Don, we're yeah. glad you made it. So, yeah. I mean, 99%, that's pretty encouraging. I just... There will be articles like, this game is not compatible. It'll be interesting right. to hear which ones won't be. Press Y. Okay. To pick something up, press Y. Like, what would I pick up? This block here? Yeah, this block. Can I throw it at the Goomba? Oh, I threw it right over the Goomba. I oh, wow, the wedding's coming up really close by right now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, just the C in her hubby with us. I see. October 3rd. Wow, that is soon. Okay, that's a whole different story. Oh, the coin yeah, it's went a away. Little, it's a little COVID y right now. Yeah. I would have thought maybe it would still be years off or something. Ah! I threw a bomb. -bom. Okay. I hope I can get used to how weird Mario 64 is. It's kind of weird and dated. Ah. 
Like Mario just kind of runs and slides around everywhere. The inertia and stuff isn't, I would say, isn't very good compared to modern games. They definitely improved it with later Mario titles. Yeah, I imagine they probably feel more like your average 3D game than this one does. I mean, this was really the first good 3D game, so like they kind of were in charge yeah. of inventing a lot of this stuff versus perfecting it. Yeah, that is a fair point. And Icky asks why they didn't improve the textures, and the answer is because this is not a very ambitious remake. Yeah, they got lazy with re-releasing this and just made it an emulation. Yeah, it's literally an emulation with a few improvements stacked on top. But it's not trying to do nearly as much as what a bunch of fans have already done for free. To the piece, you know, to the original version when playing on PC. We've also discussed this on my stream a couple of times, but we also felt like there was a missed opportunity in this collection to release Galaxy 2 as well. Yeah, certainly some people are not happy about it. To me, you know, I don't... Paying 60 bucks and getting the three of these, I don't feel shortchanged, but it does make you wonder, what about Galaxy 2? Is there going to be a way to play it in the future somehow? Like, it, I it's play. on release. If, for instance, if they gave Galaxy 2 a proper remake, just by itself, that would be really cool if that was in the... the I agree with that, yes. Because what's the next Mario game that they're properly remaking? They had another announcement when they announced they the 3D collection. Yeah, it's 3D World, is that the one? Yeah, I think 3D so. Land. Yeah. What's Icky say? 3D World, yeah. And I, you know... I probably would like to get that, although I may not get it at launch, because I still haven't even played Mario Odyssey, so what am I... Odyssey's really good. That's one I really like. Wolfblade has played a lot of Mario 64. I did years ago, but like this is my first time playing it in maybe 10 years. These, these textures are a bit difficult to stomach in the modern age. But, you know, N64 games always had these these very blurry, hideous textures, and I never liked them. You know, even back in 1995 or whenever this came out, I always said... 97, Why? I think. Really? I think it was 97. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, hey, Spazpole, glad to see you. Well, no one even gave me heck for the slip-up. That's nice. But... Yeah, anyway, N64 could not do good texture maps, and they blurred them, and it just doesn't look good to me. Hey, Chicago's here too! We're so glad to see you, Chicago! You missed all the technical hiccups earlier, so good for you. Yeah. Was 96, was it? I'm actually gonna look it up. Oh yeah, uh, June 23rd, 1996 in Japan. North America got it in September 1996, but... Um... The EU got it in 97, so it was actually kind of both, depending on where you were. Gotcha. So I think where I am, it would have been released in 97. Yeah, I got a 1-up. I do like getting those 1-ups. It still makes the sound effect. Look. I will still say, though, in terms of Nintendo 64 games, the Banjo-Kazooie series is the greatest N64 games of all time. Don't <laughs> bite me on that. I think Tyler likes them too, don't you, Tyler? Which ones? Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah, I love Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> How do we ground stop in this, or butt stop? Uh, something? the cannons don't activate when when you're going for this star. I see you don't get those until the the second one, I believe. Because I haven't hit a peep block or something. No, it's because the pink ball bombs at the beginning of the map, the one that you talk to, unlocks them. So but not, to not for the first run. You've oh, got to, I see. Yeah. They're only locked when you're going for the bob -omb at the top of the mountain. Um, but the other stars, he can unlock them. Okay. <laughs> What's she telling him to shush about? Banjo Oh, I think it was because he was like, I was six then. I was five then. Oh, and they were in college. I was getting married. So, yeah. I think I was five when the first Banjo Kazooie came out. 1998. As a teenager, but I was 12 or 13. Ah. Right in the perfect gaming age. The human Brian was in middle school, so he's a little bit 
Oh, so he would have been about. You two are yeah, about me and the same Brian age? are real close age. Yeah. That's good. I think we might even be the same age. And he, I'm just like a month old, uh, older. Is that why you guys hang out in real life? Right. Press the ZL button. That means L1. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah. ZL is the trigger, <laughs> I believe. No, the trigger is just regular L, isn't it? No, you might be right. No, the L is the trigger. Ah! I got the bump! The, bump the bumpers are L and R. I see. Could it be any more confusing? So how did it say to get up there? Just keep walk, running in circles. You, uh, Follow the trail. Walk towards where oh, the, uh, okay. the cannonballs are flowing from. And just keep working your way around the mountain. Follow Have the you never climbed a mountain before? <laughs> yeah. You're still <laughs> going down. Awesome. Wait. I don't want to go down, or I do. You want to go no, up you want the to go mountain. Up. My bad. Okay. Why would Why would the goal be at the bottom of the mountain? Uh, to facilitate speed, because you gain speed as you're going down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it now. Snowball effect. Is I'm still confused by the weird movement and stuff. You know. It's a little shaky. Yeah, what, it, it what, is. What movement do you mean? Well, just the. Like, again, he feels strange the way he walks around. Takes a little getting used to. Yeah. It's no Spelunky. <laughs> that Spelunky is quite a game. Ah! Ooh, it would also be harder playing this on an actual N64 controller. Yay! Is thank you for the cheer, VX Latino! Yeah, the, hey. you're, at least I'm playing with a decent controller and not that yeah. monstrosity. But. Yeah, not a metal mounted thumbstick. Power by, yeah, the faster you run through the heart, the more power you'll recover. Oh, that's interesting. But my life is full right now, I guess, because I got coins or something. Yeah, so. the coins regenerate your power. And I also just found out, because I was playing the third level, they also give you back air when you're swimming underwater. Me? Yeah. It's King Bob -omb. Big Bob -omb. Oh, nice, but Larina. Can... That's really cool looking. Yeah. What is Spaz saying the camera is horrible in the game or on other things? Probably in Mario oh, Probably well. in the game. Whoa, the sea Maybe the sea, we don't we don't talk dirty around here, sorry. A hole where the balls come out. Anyway. He's mad. It is mad. Uh oh. You've invaded mountain top. Uh oh. I have to prove myself in battle. He was the king of the mountain. I'm the king of the castle. Oh, oh no, he grabbed me. Then he threw me. Alright. Don't tell me what to do, guys. I'll remember. Maybe. Um, it, when I try to hit him, I just kind of dash. Harder. Did you say hit him harder? Try harder. Oh, but I can grab him. <laughs> then what do I do? Throw him off? Oh crap, I got hit. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I agree with you, Chicago. This one in particular at least could have used some of the simple emulation improvements that they could have done that they didn't do for no reason. Uh, like, make it widescreen. Why not make it widescreen? More better. <laughs> In 60 frames per second. Throw them off the mountain. If um, you're moving and going for a punch, well, actually, I don't actually, even know how I grabbed him. Okay. Speaking of making it widescreen, I wish I'd have at least just made it full frame, because you got black bars at the top and bottom. You're right, even at the top and bottom. Alright, <laughs> I got a hit on him. Jono, it seems a bit unlikely. You must fight with honor, it's against the rules to throw the king out of the ring? Oh, you reset it. I'm not uh, supposed to throw him out of the ring? No. You're just supposed to throw him. <laughs> He makes that big sound when you throw him. He's like, oh, 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 or whatever. That's how you're supposed to know you heard him. The controls are so bad. Sure, that's what they all say. They all blame the controls. Kick him well, in when the they're hole. playing a game with ancient control. Oh, great, I fell halfway down the mountain. Toss him three times, but not off the edge. It's more the controls than the camera, although the camera is also certainly kind of aged and you can see it's just kind of shaky 
as we're running up the mountain for some reason. Ah, crap. Don't fall off, Mario. No, get back up. All right. Yay, I got my life back. Ah! Getting hit by cannonballs quite a lot. Oh, it was still filling me up, so I didn't lose the life. That's okay. Right. Yeah, one thing that the tutorial sign says about that star is it will replenish more health depending on how fast you run through it. That's a nice option. Wolfie, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he says there's a warp point in the hole where the balls come out of? What does he mean by that? Are the cannonball spawns, how they're rolling down the mountain? There's two of them, I believe. And I think the sea also mentioned that. It's just throw him and that hurts him automatically? That's it? Mm-hmm. Because he doesn't really look much hurt by that, so I guess that's why I was confused. But he makes a sound that sounds like he got hurt. Yeah, I just can't hear the sound as well because I have, a, you know, you guys mixed in with it as well. Uh. Do it three times. How many yep. stars am I at? Okay, so I've done the first two levels only, and I'm at 18 stars. Oh, oh no, don't throw me, don't throw me. No, ah, oh, good, he didn't throw me. I, I've, I've also only played 64 so far in the collection. I haven't started the other two yet. The other two, I think I got 100, no, on Mario 64 and on Mario Galaxy, I think I got 100%, but I never 100%ed uh, Sunshine back in the day. How come? The, some of the coins were a real pain, and it also wasn't my favorite. Because of the yes, splooshiness? Fun time gets tricky. I got a star! It's tough. It's a little tougher. Some of mm -hmm. the, going for 100% sunshine's a little tougher. So I was surprised funny. with some of the hidden platforming challenges. I was surprised that I did as well as I did in some of those. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, Mario 64 is pretty tough. Like. 100 coins in a couple in the rainbow level and the clock level can be tough um oh, some of the flying red coin challenge can be tough so there's a few things but for whatever reason i have more trouble with uh, sunshine jono's maining super mario 64 until he beats it yeah i'm i'm actually doing the same i'm taking it one game at a time trying to get as much of a completion as i can so hence why I've been, hence why I've got 18 stars and only been in two levels. Ooh. <laughs> Yay, Platinum, we're glad you're here. We do have some cool things to give away. You know, we've given away Star Wars The Last Jedi before when Bog Actually, donated a code. That being it. said, I did go into Bowser after I fully completed only the first level. Oh really? Yep. I forgot you. Because you you can you can get seven stars from each of the levels, but you need eight to get to Bowser for the first time. Um, and there's a couple of secret area. There's three secret stars, I think. I like. Yeah, three stars. secret stars that I know of that you get to once you've got enough to unlock the rooms. So I just had one of those to help me get to Bowser. Hey. Yeah. Okay, oh, you're giving this... away The Last Jedi. Is that number eight? I think Last so. Last Jedi is eight, yeah. Yeah, and... God bless whoever wins that code. <laughs> well, <laughs> The Last Jedi may not be that good, but I would say nine is even worse. Never saw it. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I didn't think I didn't think eight could be worse than seven, and they pulled it off. So, yeah, Paul, right. I will. Do you want to know the the um the stars for this area? Sure, if you want to give me advice, I'll take it. Okay, so there are two stars you can get. One is just for making it to the bottom. The okay. second one you get if you get to the bottom in under twenty one seconds. You won't mm. get that one. How would I do that? Just floor it, floor it, and yep. watch your cornering. You have to go fast, so you gotta jump off the side and do the shortcut, but that's a pain yeah. in the butt. I you know, actually did it without the shortcut, and I got wow. 20.4. And that counted, or...? Yeah, it gave me the star. The first time I tried to do it, though, um... Well, when I was actually going for it, I got 21.1. Well, let me point out, I have done it before, because I got 100% of the stars on DS. Sure, oh, nice. that's what they all say. <laughs> 
Oh, I did, and that one even had more stars. So there, Tyler, you yeah, never got those stars. <laughs> I don't think we want to just watch me retry it over and over. But I can no. Try no. <laughs> <one. laughs> I, I think Tyler has this. an opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, God, no. Anything with that. <laughs> Nine had to try to tie into eight. With... Well, look, here's the thing. Eight made a lot of story decisions that very few people liked. Like, it was trying to be subversive and not just do the same old thing. And sometimes that is good, but other times it is lame. Like, everything they did with Luke Skywalker I thought was pretty lame, for instance. Well, I also heard that, what was it, Star Wars 8 was basically a copy of... Is it Episode 5? That they were comparing it to? I mean, there may be some parallels, but I, I think it was deliberately trying to be fresh, so I don't know if it was that similar. Did it's I unlock the similar, red block like, yet? I actually don't know like where the switch Jedi is. Jedi well, I know it's a thin get trained by an old Jedi. Oh yeah, you're right. There is that. On a faraway planet. Yeah, so Jono, I've still got to find where those triggers are. And, you know, even with 9, for instance, 9 was kind of similar in that every single thing about it was horrible, just like the prequels. So that, that was nice. Hey, I guess it's just paying respect to your roots there. 1 and 3 are fun. Agreed. Wait, no. No. I'd There's... say 3, yes. <laughs> 1, debatable. I like so I liked episode fun. 3. One is very slow in plotting and wastes a lot of time with trade routes and stuff that no one cares about, and it would be impossible to care about. Also, it has Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, but it has Boss Nass, who makes up for how bad Jar Jar Binks was. You think so? <laughs> yes. I don't know about all that. All the CG characters in the prequels I find to be pretty heinous. And it has Watto. Yeah, I forgot about Watto. Oh my Watto gosh. Like Watto's like the hero. <laughs> okay, you're just being silly. Ah! <laughs> Crap, I fell and died. Some but then again, we're kind of forgetting that oh, well, yeah. um, the reason Star Wars exists is to help the creation of space balls. <laughs> and for that reason, it's okay. No, but <laughs> the prequels don't influence space balls. So... I haven't seen Spaceballs in a while. It has. I want to watch that movie again. It's so good. Uh, it was a little dated to me. I it does have some good jokes here and there, for sure. Mel Brooks. I'm not quite as big of a Mel Brooks fan as a lot of people are. Me neither. Although I like. No, generally, I'm not, which, but I just think that movie holds like. up. Hmm. What's that, Tyler? I do like Robin Hood Men in Tights, which most people don't think is one of his best. I saw that in the theater, and I was a bit disappointed. Like, I don't I don't hate it. It has many good parts, but I think as a whole, it doesn't quite add up to being that good a movie. Step on the Switch. But there was the fact that I watched the HBO special about it, which, you know, it's like a 30-minute special, and it's going to have like 20 minutes of scenes for the movie. And so that does have a tendency to spoil some of the jokes. Yeah, yeah, Young Frankenstein is great. Spaz Pole is right about that. Young Frankenstein is hilarious. I do. Like I've that heard one. that. I need to watch it. I have not That's seen funny. it. It's bad. It's got that guy with hypertension, so his eyes are sticking out. Yeah. Actually, I dated a girl who had that a long time ago. Yes, it was a little weird. That's what you go for. Chicks with eyes popping out of their skull. I know, but I don't hold it against somebody when they have some kind of medical condition. My eyes gonna... do not pop out of my skull. <laughs> they don't, that's yeah, true. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, one of these days we'll get a second camera and start having Brandy on camera if she wants. The only bad thing is we'd also have to have another green screen. Well, we wouldn't have to, but... Uh-oh, she says she doesn't like that idea very much. That's not the way to do it. Uh, yeah, I goofed that up pretty badly. Yeah, the trick there is to go to the middle and wait. Can I just jump Paul's up? still working on his spatial awareness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't quite gotten it right after 40-something years. Most most people start getting it around 9 to 12 months, but Paul's <laughs> just working on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Tyler. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, 
Most people can bite my beluga. Uh, no. Anyway. But, yeah. Oh, she's like, <laughs> no, I'm not letting that happen. How many red coins are there? Eight. 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 That's a lot. But, but that's... Um, but that's for a different star in this, in each level. Well, don't I want it? Oh, no. Oh. I mean, you can, but it's not the one that's currently selected. I think so, for this one, it's either the third or fourth star. Kratz Buzz. And I don't think I've seen ah. Blazing Saddles. I, um... Yeah, I've only seen have... parts of it. I'm sure it's funny. Gene Wilder is really funny. I've got a little bit of Blazing Saddles experience in my life. But I haven't seen the whole thing, I guess I would say. I don't really like producers. Also, um, I will say that for this run, you don't actually need to worry about the red coins. They can help your coin count, but that's about it. Because um, you oh, can't yeah. get all of them yet. I can't. Oh, he figured, he figured no, it out. No, there's two you can't get in this run. <laughs> oh, the one up. I want the one up. Come back. Where'd it go? Yeah, you can only get one star per run. So there's like no point oh. in working on more than one no, objective per run. You can get. Oh, that's a drag. No, you can actually get two because the exception to that is the 100 coin star. Yeah, oh. but he's not going for the hundred coins. I'm not going for anything. Uh, at the moment, you're going for um for Womp, I think. Ah. Hey, somehow I killed that Prana Plant. I don't even know how. Yeah, you jumped on it. Oh. But usually they would bite you if you tried to do that. You can either move slowly up to it and punch it in the face, or you can jump on it to take it out. Nice. Like that? Yeah. Yep. Right. Perfect. Oops. Didn't you okay, see how your punch totally connected with it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, I don't like how if you're running, it doesn't come out as a punch. That was what really threw me off during that boss fight. Yeah, it's like a dive. That's not Good. I have seen oh. the original airplane. It's hilarious. It's oh, you cool. know, I recently got that on Steelbook. Nice. Yeah, because it was on sale for Funny. twelve or twelve or. Producers years. I've seen. I just I, I like the concept more than the execution on producers. I agree with them, that. Them blazing saddles. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen. So why don't? But I, I saw those? Robin Hood men in tights, which uh, is the was. only thing at the top of that pole is an extra life. Oh, that's a good thing. Yay. Lives are pretty insignificant because like, even when you run out, you don't lose any progress. You just get five more lives. So also, Tyler, this game you're actually not going doesn't... to argue that all lives matter. Correct. The game also doesn't Good. save your lives Great. between sessions. So when you load Ooh. up the game again in the future, you start with four lives. Well, that's a drag. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Was it the same way on the DS version, I wonder? Probably. I is that know. Dracula, Dead and Loving It movie? Is that Mel Brooks, too? Uh, that's a good question. It stars Leslie Nielsen, and Leslie Nielsen is terrific, although people don't seem to like it very much. Huh. I haven't seen it, but I like Leslie Nielsen, but he's in a lot of not great movies. Yeah, he was just happy to work, so he would say yes to a lot of things. Right. But yeah, all the air movies are pretty funny. No, no, Naked Gun movies. All the Naked Gun movies are pretty funny. I like them. Agreed. I saw three in the theater. Nice. Yes. So, how do I get him to fall over? Get closer, Tom. Okay. And then I jump on him and do what? Lamb. Stomp on his back. I don't know how. Uh, you left trigger when, when you're in the air. Oh, okay, left trigger. There you go. Fall, you jerk. Okay, this is a pretty cool boss fight, I suppose. You can also take out the little ones the same way and you get five coins. Ooh. The textures on them do look fantastic. <laughs> oh yes, they're robust. It's interesting, I feel like they've maybe made Mario look a little better, but nothing else. Yeah, I agree, Mario himself looks good. But no, they also improved the UI stuff, which is not 3D anyway, but the UI stuff is redrawn so that it's not just all blurred up. So that's okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that is important. Yeah, it would look lame if it was. Right. Go Mario! 
that yeah, that's like the most obvious when they don't upscale that sort of stuff. Two, three stars down, 117 to go. Well, well, I'll have that in no time. <laughs> There's people who totally speedrun Mario, right? Like, I mean, yes. Yeah, it's whether... a pretty popular speedrunning game. No, I hear speed this nuts. This version is, again, it's a Japanese re-release at the core of it, so that particular version took out some kind of popular speedrunning trick or glitch. I don't know what it was, but I did read that it was taken out. Oh, interesting. Usually the speedrunners end up using Japanese versions of games. <laughs> I think but that I... They, fit, they fit more text, like some games that have a lot of text. More text can fit in Japanese than in English, so that there's less text boxes and stuff. Oh. <clears throat> That, you know, you're right. That is true. They can write a whole lot with small characters. Yeah, because I know all the Ocarina Time speedrun stuff is done on the Japanese card. Hmm. Same with a lot of Resident Evil stuff as well. I've hmm. seen a lot of runners play like the Japanese version of the game. I think it. Is, I think it's a Japanese one anyway. That might be it, Human Brian. Uh oh. Uh, Spazpol said when he jumps, just run under him. Spazpol, were you talking about? Yeah, the chomp guy, you can just... Oh, that was the legs. womp battle, yeah. Okay. So you Sorry finished I that now. I'm so engaged it's by right. this, and I also have to, you know, kind of fight the controls the whole time that it's hard to look over as much as I would like to. Plunder in the secret ship. Ah, you can't do the backwards long jump trick, the same as the original game, that Jonah thinks. Man, I want to find one of those P-blocks so the exclamation marks fill in. Yeah, I haven't found those yet. I'm still probably a little ways in. Special caps. All I know is they're not in the main levels. They're in some secret areas. But beyond that, I don't know anything. Oh. Hey, that one looks like I can jump under it. Oh, the secret blocks. Yeah, the ones in the caves. I don't remember where the red one is. I feel like it's accessed from the main lobby. First one can no. be found early, I think, after 10 stars. Oh, yeah, well, you get, if, F if you F beat F Bowser, because you can get to Bowser after eight, and then yeah. that gives you. Oh. Once you beat Bowser, you get the key to go on to the next set of levels. Oh, so if I can't see anything. Okay, what's wrong with the swimming controls? They're inverted. <laughs> They're fantastic. Uh. Don't. Don't, bash, bash a. don't even bring <laughs> up how wonderful the swimming controls are. Bash A and then up and down is inverted. Okay, if you say so, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Some of us weren't born with inverted junk, you know. No game has ever been <laughs> better at swimming. <laughs> no game, huh? Ooh, a red. I want that red one. This is really killed me. I'm just gonna put it out there. What? I can't do inverted controls. It's one of the reasons I can't do flight sounds and all I... that. I just... mm -mm. Well, it's... I mean, you're not required to make fast movements underwater at this in this level, anyway. I don't know if it changes, but, you know, you just, like, leisurely turn and things like that, so it's not... You gotta watch out for the heel. Uh -oh. Ow! Where's That's the heel? John is saying you don't need to beat Bowser to be able to unlock the first block switch. Yeah, but I don't if think it you requires like 10 stars or something. Okay, Jono, if you want to tell me how to get it once I'm done with this level, I will appreciate the assist. Go, go breathe, go up and breathe air. Because uh -oh, your power refills right. when you breathe air. Oh, okay. Um, you can get like 30 stars before you beat Bowser. Ah, I'm gonna suffocate. Yeah, I said go up and get air. It's because they copied Sonic the Hedgehog, Tyler. Sonic invented having to have air, you know. There you go. He invented having to have air. I hate Sonic so much. I don't know why, because it's great. There we go. Is there anything in the ship? Yeah, go go look in the ship. I think the ship was the um the star. Is that a giant eel monster? What do damn I do right about it? A, you're damn right it's a giant eel monster. <laughs> Can I punch it? You gotta slur him out. Uh-oh. Actually, this is the star I'm working on now. You get one from luring him out? Yeah. Okay, get in front of his face. The camera controls are not helping. Wrong. Camera's fine. I really it's don't want to play. get in front of his... It's on the player. Uh-oh. Did he bite you? 
He didn't, I mean, I got hit, but he didn't come out. I thought he was supposed to pop out, but yeah, you're oh, no. going to die. Oh, I suffocated to death. Boy, this level's great. <laughs> How could I get air while I'm still underwater, guys? Because... Collect coins. Just from coins, but you can usually make it back up and swim up, but not when you run into eels. Yeah, the getting hit by the eel is what did me. Is what killed you, yeah. So, but I do want to lure him out, or is that something I should do a different time? I mean, that's the, that's the star you're working on. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was this star or a different star. But it's definitely one of them. Yeah, there's a way to lure him out. I don't. I swear, like I thought he was supposed to pop out. Just hang out in front of his face a little bit. Okay. Oh, so the coins refill my air when I get them, right? Oh look, a Wait, turtle shell. Can I do anything with that turtle shell? Yeah, it zooms you around. You have to Ow. grab it though. Well, I tried, but the clam closed on me. Uh, uh it's time to go off for air again. Oh, the turtle shell's gone now. Maybe the clam ate the turtle shell. Totally logical to see. The clam ate the turtle shell. Wait, Why didn't I just you, no, you have to stay up for air. You don't immediately. Imagine like you're breathing really hard and then you go up for air. Do you think you immediately your lungs immediately relax and like completely refill with air and you're ready to go back underwater? Why not? Keep your head above water. <laughs> Others give me that tough love. Mm -hmm. It's a super <laughs> realistic game. You have to remember that. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, actually, this game does look a lot like what the world looks like to me when I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like that. Yeah. <laughs> so look at that realistic. wall. Look at that wall you're next to. It's oh. such a, a freaking gorgeous wall. <laughs> it's a work of art. Did it I is. never? Spaz Pole, I only played the DS version. That's the first time I played it, and that would have been in the early 2000s, I think. 2003 or 4. Probably 4. Okay, I've lost my sense of direction. Run the wrong way. Yeah, no, I 100%ed the DS version. There's like three spiky things, and you need to swim past those. Gotcha. Alright, now I've got to find the one air. that you're working on. Well, no, I never had an N64. Yeah, it's crazy when people didn't have N64s. Poor, I had a poor. Sega Saturn, which is way nicer. Like, Ugh, way, well, well, way Except for way not having any cool games. I mean, it didn't have any Nintendo-made games, but it did have... The Saturn had a really great library of games, a lot of which have never been re-released on anything, so people don't know about them. And that's a shame. So I should leave those coins there for when I need air. But well, I yeah, need but you don't right need them at all either. There's we'll also an out. air pocket we'll in, at the end of the cave if you need a closer one. What'd you say about them popping out? You have to hang so out. So if you go through the cave. Okay. So Tyler's saying I have to romance him for a bit. And then yeah. Him Blow him some kisses or something. Right. I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> I ran into him again. Crap. Swim away from him. It's like he's not triggering. Yeah. So Jonas has move away from him, but yeah, go up for air now. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that is true. Darker Player points out there was no uh, true mainline Sonic game for the Saturn, and that was a mistake on Sega's part. But there was Sonic 3D Blast, which also came out on the Genesis, and this the Saturn version is very good. It has really wonderful soundtrack in particular. And then there was Sonic Jam, which was uh, just a collection of Sonic games. What's this little seaweed stuff over here? Can I go through that? No? Okay. Go back and get air. So, you're saying I'm not doing any good at luring that guy out. No, like, uh, get him, he... like, swim in front of him. It's, so, yeah. Jonas says move away from him. Alright, you know what would help here is turbo. Then I can just like, whoosh, 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 swim real fast. He was Wait, out. How, how are you like at half life already? Uh, oh, he's out already. Uh oh. So where's the star? I'm in the hole. You go inside that thing. 
but then you need to oh. swim to the top real quick because you're gonna oh, die. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna well, die. Give less, me a quarter. Less so now. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. This is not fair. I'm bad at getting the air because of the way you have to wait around for a bit. Yeah, it takes like so long to sit on the top for a god, half a it's second. It's like forever. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Okay, this time I've got to, I mean, I'm getting better each time, right? You know, it's not coming naturally to me. Now, uh, Darker Player's doing my death count. Nice for nothing, Darker Player. Oh. Okay, yeah. so that's what happens if you go for the wrong one. <laughs> did I go for the wrong one? No, I did. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm, I'm in that room now, trying oh. to figure it out. Thank you. Any advice you can provide is appreciated. What do you mean, go for the wrong one? Yeah, because I got electrocuted. The chest in the ship that you need to open give you air bubbles. Oh, that's good to know. Yes. It might keep them alive. You don't need the coins. Skip the coins. Oh, okay, fine. All right, moving on. It's it honest. is weird because like new platformers aren't aren't like this but yeah there's no reason to collect more than what you're specifically going for each time you play the level yeah that is like weird. like you don't need to get the red coins because you'll just have to get them again when you actually do your red coin chase and you don't really need the coins except for health because you'll need them you'll get them when you do the hundred coin thing but yeah you, it, it is weird that you just need to focus on one thing oh the camera he didn't come out i was right in front of his face he didn't come out it takes a minute, but you're doing what you need to do. For some reason, I thought he popped out, but I think that that's the other star. Oh, okay. I'm figuring it out now. It's a sequence. He should really come out much more easily than what he does. It doesn't really give you an indication that you're doing anything, which is kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Ah, oh great, I hit him. Get to the coins. Get to the coins. God. Nope. Oh god. Okay. Got it. Now I'll just go up for air for the rest. He's too scared to come out? I did move away. I'm away from him right now. Why isn't he out right now? He might come out when you go back down. I hope so. That would be fine. Yes, he did. All right, thank you. That's what happened last time too. Did you see that the clams pop in? Like you could see the what was in the clam from a distance, but not the clam yeah. Itself. The clam pops in. Yep, that's true. The old version too. Uh, uh, okay, go in the hole, Mario. The hole's your home. Are you too good for your home? <laughs> So just open the chest? Yes. Um, it's a sequence, though. Yeah, some of them... Oh, yeah, some of them shock you. I would go up and get air. Oh. Yeah, Where do absolutely. I get the air from? It's, it's There's an air pocket at the time. top of the um yeah. the platforms. Gotcha. Right there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm jamming the button. Oh, wow. Did it. Thank you. Go up. <laughs> he felt... Mario, stop being stupid. Be buoyant. He's not buoyant. He's defined. Jono, do you physics. remember if this is always the same sequence? It is. This air oh, pocket is. Okay. Thank you. Jeez, he did not want yeah, to. Yeah, that it. there was one weird glitch where you got pushed down for no reason. Should I hit that box back there or do the chest? You first? can't get it underwater. No, water. you can't get the box yet. No. You got to do the chest first. But start with the far one. That makes sense. I wonder if it's the same combination that I had. It will be. Yeah, because uh, it was the far one, and... No! God, oh, stupid... Awful controls. <laughs> that one, you hit the bump in front of you. Uh, Why is man, it be... they don't make... They don't make swimming like they used to. This was just... A flawless, <laughs> oh, delightful. a flawless experience all around. Yes. This is why people love water levels. It's entirely because of this game. Now I have to go back for air. Thank you, game. Now, pushing the button makes you swim faster than holding it, Jono, I think. No, because if you uh, hold it, you do yeah, the little mashing it. Paddle. Mashing it's faster, I believe. Oh. Yeah. I didn't realize holding was an option, though. 
It is, but it's good. Wouldn't. So getting to that thing without hitting the bump in front of it is way <laughs> harder. Can, than I can should. only imagine you parallel parking. That's yeah. funny. Hey. All right. Well, I don't care for parallel parking, but you know, the only time in my so life weird. I've ever parallel parked is when I had to for the driving test. And I I've done it before. That's the second one. I imagine um, it must go, be. Don't go for the middle one. Go for the other one. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. That's the same combination I had then. Sure so hit them it is always the same. Oh, yeah, should have. Yeah. But you yeah. can get it from the last one and be fine. All right, now what's happening? Well, if you swim um, to the top real fast, which I should have told you before, the, um, you don't have to raining. worry about the jumping part. But oh, that would be handy. Try to get on the highest platform you can. Oh, crap. Uh, I got up a little bit. Yeah, now it's just about yeah, to get the rest of the way oh, off. It, it took me a little bit to get up there. <laughs> Mario, no. No, you have to do one platform at a time. Okay. Don't try to triple jump it. No, stop, stop. This is the, the movement. <laughs> stop it, Mario. Yeah, after doing this a couple of times, I realize you just make a break for it after you unlock the fourth one. Yeah. Well, that'll be good to know the next time I do it. That's right. I guess. Ah! Right. So if the... <laughs> you know, it's not just the movement, because the movement is not good, right? But the camera also increases the frustration level of this. No, Mario. Maybe we should switch to Mario Sunshine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made it to that one. Okay, thank you. Imagine me doing this. Yeah, or I was like, I wonder if Mackenzie would like this, but she'd be having just as much trouble as I'm having. Yeah, no, it's not really for kids. Dude, you gotta do one at a time, man. I know, but then they're he getting slides anyway. You're getting greedy. <laughs> Go to that one. Look, I mean, it's the way he's. Just keep sliding. Stop sliding. Because it just automatically puts you in a slide. This must be what heaven is like. <laughs> what? Uh, I do like 3D platformers in general. Uh, I'm young. Hey, look, you can walk up this thing somehow because it didn't automatically slide me that time. Okay. Nope. So it's So the developers I, I, don't seem to realize that Mario has hands, and he could use his hands to uh, affect his movement. Oh. Thank you! Second to the top. Made it! Could have done it without you guys. Yeah, I'm we like were definitely here to help. <laughs> yep. Here we go. I just slide down. Sea lions do that. That's right, we got the plunder from down under. Here we go. No, that didn't mean anything. Um, there's a, is that a hole in the wall up there? Does that lead you to something good? There's two holes in this room. One yeah, of them's one a of them secret does. area one and one of them's star, an extra life. To swim for it. Like Are you serious all, about The whole the level swimming? is underwater. Oh, I don't love that. What does the other one do? One's an extra life. Oh. So the long, long jump is hard to, uh, Master. You don't want to long jump that. What you want to do the the somersault. Oh. So when you're holding um, the left trigger when you're staying still, oh, you'll catch, and then you press A to do a backflip. Okay, thank you. I'll try that. I think that one that you're yeah. at is the extra life. Give me that extra life, and that would spawn again if I played again, right? Did I get the one up, yes. or did it just vanish? Uh. It's probably rhyming around somewhere. Curse you, one up. Thank you, got it. I didn't hear the sound, but maybe I did. All right, uh, guys, how do I go get that P block? The red one, right? Uh, no, we might need Jono to help us out with that. Yeah. Do I have to have what? ten stars on me at that time? You have time? to have ten stars oh, to yeah. get the red right, the block. Right, and I spent the stars I had. Is that why I can't get in there? Because you spend them getting indoors, or something? I don't know what's happening. Wait, that's the one I was just in. Oh, you don't spend them, okay. But I do need to redo levels to get more stars out of them. That's what you're telling me. 
Yes. Because there are seven stars that you can get in each level. And How then... How do you know? Uh, if you keep progressing through the stars, uh, you'll the get top of the fortress. six mission-based ones plus the 100 coin star. Gotcha. Okay, and this one says to the top of the fortress, so I just have to get to the top? Yeah. Well, that's fine. I don't mind that. This will be a little bit easier than underwater. <laughs> yeah. Although so this one, where the idea. one... Yeah, this one where the boss was, there's now like a little added tower. And you just Ooh. gotta scale the top of that. Well, I don't mind at all. If you wanna know a shortcut for this level as well, sure. what you can do back near the beginning um is instead of having to bounce um across where the stone things come out and across the moving platforms, you can just do a backflip at the bottom and um Back up the ramp to where the piranha plant is. So a backflip would get you up higher is what you're saying? A backflip avoids um, a couple of obstacles. Okay, so you can't punch a woken and awakened. No. No. You just have to move away from him to get him to go back to sleep. Ah, uh, I fell. That was no good. Ah, I can't yeah, run. Essentially, the backflip gets you up to kind of this area. I see. Yeah, that would be useful sometimes. If you do it at the bottom of that ramp. Wait, the bottom of... Where you... Yeah. So where you picked up those coins, um, if you go from, like, that dirt pass, and you do backflip. Oh, I see. To, yeah, yeah that, that's the shortcut. Bit. Okay, nice. That's not bad. Tyler, how come you never tell me any shortcuts? I mean, I'm more about playing the game for yourself versus just having someone tell you what to do. You can hang around here and Brian too long. <laughs> he has that same negative attitude. At that point, you might as well just be like driving your car and someone's telling you where to go and yeah. Like a GPS? Yeah. I like GPS. Where's the, where's the fun in that? You don't need those coins. But I wanted the one up. Right, come back, one up. One ups are pointless. Where did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because I don't get to keep them. Well, every time you die, you lose your progress in the level, right? But then if yeah. you die six times, you lose your progress in the level, and you just restart in the center of the the castle with five lives. Like, I mean, there's there's nothing. They're completely. Is it five or is it four really? in this one? Because when you start well, up a new four. session, you only get four lives. Yeah, one ups are like it's a it's a feature that doesn't even need to exist. Okay, I didn't yeah. understand that. Thank you for informing me. Hey, Orkley, how you been? There's no additional progress lost between losing one life and losing all your lives, basically. That was cool. Yeah, took care of him. Because everybody taught me how to do that. So you don't think I should be going for the 100 coins thing? No. Okay. You won't get it. I don't even think you can get it until you do the red coin challenge because it creates a bunch of air blocks that have a bunch of extra get... coins on them. Uh, come out of? He does, you can actually get it starting from this star. Really? Okay. Does it depend you on can the get the 100 coins now, yeah. Oh, okay. Well... 100 coins isn't really that fun. I typically save those for later on because you really do have to scrounge a lot of levels. This one, not quite as much. Hey, there's a bonsai bill. Or is he supposed to be Bullet Bill? Well, I believe they're Bullet, bullet Bills. Bill. Okay, he's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get it starting in this level because it has those floating islands now, but I still wouldn't bother. Yeah, it was gotcha. the um, the, the wood plank that was missing before. Because you need that to get across. I typically do it on my red star run. So you can get the 100 coin one, and then, like, to get the 100 coins, you definitely almost always need to get the 8 red coins. Oh. So you get the 100 and then grab the 8. Although, that. I don't remember in this level if you need to unlock the, um, the cannon I forgot to get to the 100 save. coins. Probably I don't do. think so, because I think I had, well, like, 119 no, coins. I don't know. Shoot into the wild blue. Oh, this one yeah, so this one involves anyway. a cannon. Alright. And... Are you sure that's canon? That's a bad joke. <laughs> Alright, so backflip up here. And then where am I going to find this cannon? Just up ahead? Uh, just across the water, actually. 
Wait, wasn't I just by the water? Yeah, it's a, okay. yeah, the cannon's actually down the bottom, kind of. There's a pink bomb on guy over here. Yeah, it's him. Mm hmm To talk to him? Okay. Yep. Because he'll unlock it for you. Oh, he speaks in Star Fox talk. I think everyone okay. does. Did you? You got the 100 coin star while going first star in the level. Which one, Jono? Yeah, be more specific, Jono. Probably on this level, but I don't think you can, hey, but maybe you can. I just saw the star. There are a lot of blue. Oh, coins. on this one. Where am I trying to shoot to? Above it. Above. So you're trying to, you're trying to hit that. I usually aim for the note to your left. Um, and I think my stream is on. I try to hit uh, that. That, uh... What do you call that? That column. Kind of like the um the pillars. So the what I do pillars. is I, I, I aim for the pillar. second. Yeah. So the one for the ones on that are inside. Yeah, but exactly. um, you, you do have to take gravity into that. account, so you might want to aim yeah. up a bit. Okay. Up higher. Nope. Oh. That Did you die? actually. Might... Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, you're still too low. Just a right. little bit that higher. That was close that. though. Let's try again. Slightly higher than what I am. I wish I remembered. Sunshine has voice acting? Really? A little bit. A little bit. Oh. Is that high enough? Let's find out. This is a, just above the top of the bricks. Hey! Oh, Was it? Yeah. Yep. Right on. You know, going back to levels and finding new stars, that is fun. I guess the reason they don't want you to do it all at once is because the levels are actually pretty small, mostly. They are pretty small, but things change in them from from star to star. So, ah. so to an mm -hmm. extent, you have to pay attention to which star you're yeah. choosing. So that's another reason why they did it that yes. way. Red coins in the floating aisle, is that what it said? Yep. So I think you just get all the red aisle coins. Uh-huh. I can handle that. Uh, how many coins do we say I needed to do the people are, thing? Yeah, there are eight red coins. Ten. Uh, ten stars to ten. Ten stars. Okay, and so we don't really have enough time to get all the way there. Do no, we? and it's not that fun anyway. The flying on this <laughs> is pretty similar to the swimming. Where I thought there was a red coin over this way. There's one over that guy's head. Uh, oh, oh, over one of the blue guys? That's right. There, Yeah, oh, but I thought there was ouch. another one, but I don't remember. Yeah, like there, yeah, there there's was... Definitely, there's definitely one over the blue guy. Okay. The second blue guy. Gotcha. Well, let's... I guess we'll just get this one and then wrap it up. There's a little behind by... Karana? Yeah, I'll go get that one after I get this guy's. Yay! Oh, crap. Whatever, Mr. Piranha Plant. It's easy to accidentally go too fast. He has a snot bubble coming out of his nose. Okay, fill my life up. Thanks. This music is kind of nostalgic, isn't it? Just... Yeah. Ah, Absolutely. Dang it. Ah. Okay. Note to self, don't do that. Oh, but I can get the one in the middle. Yeah, there is one down there. Is there one to the left too, like over? No. Uh, yeah. you've got the the one on the rotating platform, and then two on the floating islands to get, I think. Okay. If I'm keeping track of everything I've already got. Well, you've, I mean, you got a better head for this than I do, apparently. Well, I I, fa I finished this level last night. This was the one I was playing through. Nice. So I do, com I mean, I may complain about the movement and the camera because they're kind of antiquated, but the game itself is quite a lot of fun when you're not underwater. I'm still underwater trying to get one star and it's bugging me. Oh man. At least once you get it out of the way, then I seem to remember just like feeling relief. Yes. Well, there's like three that. or four of the water levels. Ooh. Okay. We've got these guys. Got it. But I don't have to fight him. They're not dropping red coins, right? 
What's that down there? I thought I saw something down there. Is that... Oh, no, it's just a green box. Ah! Okay, come on, Mr. Moving Platform. So, guys, speaking of Mario, since we're doing Mario-themed stream here, I saw a hack... I mean, I watched a video about a hack for Super Mario Bros. 3, where they recreate the levels from the very first Super Mario Bros. in it. And I thought that was a pretty cool idea. You know, because Mario 3 looks much nicer than the first one. Yeah, it does. The only thing is, it's not a perfect conversion where they recreated every little element. You know, like, for instance, there's no flagpoles. Instead, Didn't it's they do that like... in, like, Super Mario All-Stars, though? Have, like, a... Super Mario All-Stars was 1, 2, 3, and the Lost Levels on SNES. Yeah, all with but... beautiful 16-bit graphics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you say beautiful, but... Uh... No, you don't think Mario All-Stars looks good? It's was that one of the seeing, games it's on... It's weird seeing, like, the original game with, like, non-original graphics. Did Nintendo release that on the mini SNES? Uh... uh I can't remember I if it's on there or if it's just I don't Mario. think all still... All I might have to check my there. box to see if it's there or not. Yeah, it may be just Super Mario World is on there and not Mario All-Stars. Well, Super um, Mario World and Yoshi's Island are both there. Oh, okay. So Super Mario yes. World 2. Yoshi's Island's cool. And Mario All-Stars, if you have Switch Online, is free to play now. I mean, That's true, yeah. Switch Online, which is cool. Alright, high score, and I've got seven. Save and continue, or save and quit. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap things up, since we've come to the end of our normal stream time. I did not get enough time playing, since we had all those dang technical problems. But what can you do? The answer is, I can experiment with that dock and see what's up with it. So how do I get back to the main menu? If you so press you, the minus oh, you button, the it, you can actually go back to the title. Oh, and look, there's an actions menu, and it gives you a list of the moves for the games, because there are a bunch of moves. Yeah, there are. So that's pretty cool. Oracle, thank you very much. That's awesome of you. Yeah, 64. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> a one... 264 that adds up to 128. Fancy. So we've been playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Keep in mind, this is a limited edition game. It is only going to be sold, whether physically or digitally, until March. And then it's going to be off the market. Pretty fast, yeah. Yeah, so if you're interested in it, just go ahead and buy it. Or at least plan to buy it before then. Let's just hop into Sunshine and then we'll do our closing from there, I guess. Just so we can show off different visuals. Thank you, BX Latino. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd forgotten all about that, Jono. I remember Mario 64 on DS was quite good. So, again, it's a shame that they didn't give us those extra enhancements. All right, let's wrap things up. Hey, they made mm -hmm. this one for widescreen. Yes, although it may have had widescreen support Yeah, I think initially. the GameCube was like a no, because, HD. No, because I have the GameCube version. It does not. But are you using cables that could do yeah, it? Yeah, you would and... have to use component cables. Oh, okay. I believe. Don't call Although me Bob Jones it. says it does not, <gasps> so who knows. But this one is 1080p, and so is the other one. And Mario's only 720p, so it's just a... Yeah, oh. I, I hadn't loaded this one up on the Switch yet, but it looks pretty. I mean, I guess Wii games weren't even widescreen, right? No, sometimes they were. I think they could be. Yeah. Like, I think they supported up to 720, but that was a bad it. Did they? I, I thought it would have been... F no, I think it was... Just 480p games could either be widescreen or not widescreen. It wasn't automatic. Okay. If I... Yeah. I could be wrong, but I think that's how I remember it. Princess Toastful's face looks weird. Everything in this looks weird. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. What is with that, like, blooming overlay? Yeah, I don't know. Why is it doing that? <laughs> I don't know. The models certainly are improved, other than Peach's weird puffy lips. She looks like she's got implants or something. Yeah, okay, Bob Jones agrees. We could do 480p in widescreen if you had the component cable. There we go, looks better there. Yay, Those cutscenes are rough. But they usually don't touch up cutscenes on remakes like this. That is true. But it ah, does my life. a lot better than the cutscene just looked. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? It doesn't matter, we gotta wrap things up. You can't do anything until you get the flood. Gotcha. Anyway, Tyler and Brownmeister, I want to thank you both for giving me some colorful commentary and great advice. 
Yep. Happy to be here. Yes, it was, I mean, those little bits of advice are helpful considering how, you know, the games can be a little bit unintuitive in some ways. Mm. Ah. Brandy, thanks for sitting along quietly. Always. <laughs> She's very good at being quiet when you need her to. <laughs> not everyone can say that. No, not that I need her to in the first place. The best possible trait in any female. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I that's try not, not to nag. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nobody likes to nag, but I'm more of a nag than she is. Anyway, so thank you for watching, everybody. Remember, we stream every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Thank you, Eki, for running the contest. Climb the flagpole, Bob John says. Okay, maybe I should go do that real quick. The water looks quite good, doesn't it, guys? It looks a lot better than 64 coming from 64. <laughs> oh, yes. I hear this one has some frame rate problems here and there, which the original version did not have. But except for that, I would say it's actually quite a lot. Yeah, look at him climbing stuff. that flagpole without actually touching it. <laughs> yeah, what was the point of climbing it? I didn't get a one up at the top, so that was kind of anticlimactic. Uh -huh. Yeah, water. the water and the colors are gorgeous. So again, sorry, but we got to go ahead and wrap it up. Love you guys, and remember, don't hate. Appreciate. See you, everyone. Catch you around. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to follow the Brailmeister, who streams on his own channel at odd hours. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, make sure you say something in chat so people Australian can follow you. Australian hours. <laughs> yes, those weird Australian hours. Tyler, what are all the people in the audience? That ought to hold those little Vegemites. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does a Vegemite taste like peanut butter or something? Or what is it like? No, no, no. not even close. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> some people compare it to Marmite for some reason. Well, I've never tasted that either. What are these things? Marmite's a British thing. And that's yeah, jelly, I've right? Heard it. It's like a jam. Doesn't Paddington Kinda, like yeah. Marmite? The well, sea stuck with us the whole time this time. Thank like, you, the sea. Yeah, yeast extracts. Yeah. The sea, I'm going to expect a full play-by-play -play of that wedding that sadly we can't go to because of diseases and timing. 